Hey everybody, it's your pal Sal, and today I am going to the flea market at Crazy Frank's in Mineral Point, Wisconsin. So today they're having an outdoor flea market at Crazy Frank's, which is a kind of a vendor uh, consignment uh, style uh, collectibles and antique mall. Uh, it's a fun place to go. Uh, it's not too far from where I grew up, so uh, I kind of go there maybe once or twice a year, just kind of check things out there. They do have some fun cards sometimes they definitely have memorabilia i've gotten some cool stuff there uh so that is definitely what i'll be on the lookout for at the flea market see if we can find some cool fun and maybe even cheap cards that's one nice perk is the vendors will be there for some of the booths uh usually when i go there it's just kind of the shop owner so there's no negotiation everything's kind of prices marked or walk away so uh, it'll be fun to see the vendors and uh, like i said hoping to find some cool deals on cards uh, always on the lookout for unique memorabilia so i will uh, report back once i have made the tour okay well i am sad to report that i got skunked on cards at the outdoor flea market at crazy frank's I did not leave empty handed, so I do have a couple things to show, and then I've got a couple trades to go over. So uh, don't worry, we have plenty of cards to look at today. But unfortunately for me, it was an offer at the outdoor flea market. Granted, that kind of makes sense. I mean, it was an outdoor flea market, but I feel like sometimes uh, it's actually a good place to find cards. But there was very little. I did uh, see. This 1976 Topps Robin Yount card in this cool display, but I don't necessarily need this one. I didn't necessarily want to make a uh, mess up the guy's display, but I'll throw a picture up um, so everyone can see it because I thought it was a cool display and it was a card that I saw at the flea market. Um, I did pick up a couple of things, uh, actually a couple pins. So both my wife and I collect pins and we both actually picked up this one because we found a, a bucket with multiple. So this is a six pack of the banquet beer coors so that's a cool pin like i said lauren and i each got a copy of that one and i also grabbed this uh, nondescript fire department pin so no specific fire department associated but when it comes to first responders i am definitely on team fire department Additionally, I, I'm not going to throw a picture up on, uh, here on it, but I am pretty proud of uh, a great deal I got on a leather Cabela's jacket. Uh, so I, it's been like maybe two decades since I bought a new coat. Uh, and this leather coat got a great deal on a very, very lightly used Cabela's leather jacket. So pretty pumped about that. And then this next one I will splice in a photo because it's pretty cool. Uh, and you get a sneak peek into Sal Dougie's Garage of Cards. Uh, it's this Miller High Life sign from City Limits Liquor, which I think is in northern Wisconsin, but uh, could have come from anywhere. Uh, but the wife and I just had a new garage built last fall, and uh, now we're kind of finishing it up and putting in the decorations. So I went ahead and grabbed this great High Life sign uh, for some garage decor. So that was the haul from the flea market, a leather coat, some pins, and a Miller High Life sign, and no cards. But like I said, I did have some trades come into the house this week, so we'll take a look at them. First one, a little bit of a smaller trade. Starting out with a football card from 2012 Leaf Draft. This is a blue variant on the Nick Toon. So Nick Toon, Badger star, I believe played in the NFL for a little bit, and son of Badger legend Al Toon, who also played in the NFL. And then the rest from this are... Brewers cards we got from 1991 Fleer, everybody's favorite set, this great Robin Yet card. One of the few good looking 91 Fleer cards, I would say. The yellow actually kind of works with the railings in the background and the yellow trim on those blue and yellow unis. So, uh, one of the few 91 Fleers that does not disappoint to look at and a need for me, believe it or not. And then we got from uh, 87 Fleer update Jim Pachorik, Mike Birkbeck, and BJ Serhoff. And then the final card of this trade card right, is beautiful no matter which way you look at it 1986 Fleer limited edition. So probably only 8 million of these were made. Cecil Cooper, great looking card there with the blue, uh, green and yellow and orange trim. Cecil in the old school ball and glove uni with those 
goggles back when baseball players used to wear real glasses such a funny time it's always hilarious to see those 70s 80s players in their big huge glasses but great cecil cooper cecil cooper card uh next trade about the same size maybe a little bit bigger uh, starting off with a 2018 tops Ichiro base card so love Ichiro cards love Ichiro marlins cards of 2018 tops so that one's just a win and we got a couple here from this is 91 leaf we got rick dempsey who actually had a very interesting career flow if you ever you want like read an article on rick dempsey he had some some interesting ups and downs throughout his career and then hall of famer paul molitor got a couple from 93 leaf one of my favorite sets we got jim austin and we got another bj serhoff and as always on the back downtown emily wake Next from 2017 Tops Gallery, Orlando Arcia rookie card. Orlando was having a beastie season this year with the Braves, so nice to see Orlando kind of bouncing back. Uh, maybe might be the All Star shortstop for the National League this year, uh, but on the team potentially. Either way, Orlando having a great season here in 2023. And we got from 1980s Tops. Reggie Cleveland. Speaking of Reggie's, one of the cards that I traded in this set was my extra 1980 Reggie Jackson. And then uh, in return with all of those other cards, we got from 84 tops. We got some studs on here. We got Dale Murphy, another Cecil Cooper with that rapidly receding hairline. No glasses though. And Jim Rice. Let's take a look. We got uh, 83 runs batted in leaders. So National League, Dale Murphy, 121, followed by Andre Dawson, Mike Schmidt, Pedro Guerrero, Terry Kennedy, George Hendrick, Jose Cruz, Ron Say of the Cubs, George Foster, and future brewer Jeffrey Leonard. Brew crew, we got Cec Cecil Cooper. I keep saying Cecil. Cecil Cooper and Jim Rice tied for the top of the league at 126. That was best in all of baseball. Followed by Dave Winfield, Lance Parrish, Eddie Murray, Brewer Ted Simmons, Tony Armas, Willie Upshaw, Cal Ripken, and Ron Kittle. So definitely some fun names on there. In the final trade of the video, this one was the biggest, and we're going to start off with some basketball cards. If you've been following along, we've been playing NBA on NBC. So this one is Brad Doherty. Let's see what we got from Brad here. Game 5, Eastern Conference quarterfinals. Took Cleveland five games to put away the injury. Riddled Nets, but with the leadership of Brad Doherty. Cavs win, Cavs win, 99-89 at Richfield Coliseum. Doherty, outstanding game five, 24 points, 21 boards. That is a beastie game. Uh, in one of his best playoff performances, averaged 20.8 for the five-game series. So great job, Brad. Next we got uh, Kevin Johnson here. I think this is from the finals. This is game three, Suns-Bulls NBA Finals, and one of the most memorable finals games in the league's 47-year history. Phoenix Suns guard Kevin Johnson put up a superb performance in game three played 62 of 63 minutes in a triple overtime game which the suns outlasted the bulls 129 121 it was the sun's first win of the series johnson put up 25 points and nine assists so iron man work from kevin johnson there a couple great scotty pippins here this one from 93 94 i think uh tops all-star Scotty Pippen, and then from Stadium Club, this one, 93, so probably 90, same year, uh, we got Scotty Pippen, triple-double, so it lists all of his triple-doubles for the year, looks like there were four, talks a little bit on the back here, uh, there's a fun, a couple of them are kind of funny, there's like uh, this one on the 12th of January, 13 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, so just, and the same on November, 16 points, 12 boards, 10 assists, uh, but then on the uh, 5th of March against San Antonio, a bit more of a monster game. 39 points, 13 boards, 10 assists. So some great Scotty Pippen cards. So next, one, next one is an uh, absolutely gorgeous card here. We got from 97, Skybox, rookie Ray Allen. So beautiful card. Does have a little bit of bricking on Ray's face there, but uh, for a trade. And I really didn't give up much to get this card. Beautiful Ray Allen rookie card. 
And now we got some baseball cards. This one from 92 Donruss, former White Sox closer, Roberto Hernandez. Then we got one here from 1998. Score, rookie and traded. This is a traded. John Olerud on the Mets card. So Olerud, World Series champion, one of my favorite players. Uh, so cool pickup for my Mets PC. And then next we got from 92 score, or Pinnacle actually, uh, which I think is the same thing based on the copyrights. Uh, we got Brett Butler with some technical skills here on our bunting. We got eyes on the ball, arms, hands relaxed, fingers are behind the barrel, and trying to bunt that top half of the ball to kind of catch it with a bat and deaden it. Uh, so I really like these cards where they kind of do the blueprints on there, so that's cool. Another super cool card love these i have a similar scorecard this one from pinnacle we got tom glavin playing hockey in a baseball jersey uh, so i love the tom glavin hockey crossovers uh, i think it's super cool like it took the time to do this photo shoot uh, so great mashup on the glavin i think on the back it talks that he was maybe drafted uh yeah drafted by the la kings in the fourth round of the nhl draft and it doesn't say what year maybe uh but super cool obviously glavin could play some hockey so that's great and then i got a bunch from 91 leaf so we'll rapid fire these chuck grim bj serhoff bill spires jimmy gantner julio machado dan plesak edwin nunez darren holmes willie randolph Kevin Brown and Chris Bazio. So nothing too exciting there, but some great volume pickups for that March. We're almost up to 4,100 unique brewer cards. I think we're at like 4,080-ish and right around the top 60 for tradingcarddatabase.com. So the beat goes on there. We got a few more from that same era. This one is not some 92 Donruss as well. We got Julio Machado and Chuck Krim couple from 94 Fleer we got Jamie Navarro and Australian legend Graham Lloyd who I think also won some championships with the Yankees so uh, Graham Lloyd ended up uh, having a uh, somewhat of a high profile bullpen career for the Yankees got one here from 95 Fleer Ultra Jose Mercedes from 91 Tops Tom Edens We'll close it out with some Bears cards here. We got most of these are from 94 Pinnacle. Tim Worley. Chris Zorich. And then Curtis Conway. Curtis Conway, a fun bear. Kind of suffered from some bad quarterbacks. So it would have been kind of interesting to see what kind of career Curtis had with better quarterback play. And the last card of the trade and the video from 1995, Fleer Metal, also Chris Zorich. So great metal shine on there. Looks like playing the 49ers on the Zorich. Great haul in the trades. Uh, fun day at the flea market, but not a great haul as you could see. Thanks everybody for watching the video. Go ahead and like it, hit that subscribe, and I will talk to you all in the future.